So this is the 2024 National 5 paper. Um, I'm going to go through section 1 and section 3. My class didn't do databases, so I'm not going to do the database part. But everybody does section 1 and it's often the harder one anyway. First question. A confectionery company requires a program to store information about box chocolates. Complete the table below to show which types of variable should be used. So the key part here is that it's the types of variable. You can see we've already got one that's boolean for whether something is in stock or not. We've got chocolate names, so the name of the chocolate is going to be a string. And then the number of chocolates in the box. So that's going to be an integer. It couldn't be a real number, because presumably you're not going to have half of a chocolate. So long as someone hasn't got to the box before you. Then we have to convert the denary number 105 into 8-bit binary. So if I start with my little sort of table here with the values. 128, 64, 32, 16... 8, 4, 2, and 1, and I'm just halving it each time. Then to make 105, I would need that would be 96, and then plus 9 would be 105, and I fill in zeros and the other ones. Question 3 asks us to explain why it might be necessary to return to the implementation stage. So that's code writing the code or coding it, of an iterative development process after the testing stage. So it's after testing. So the idea is that we've tested it. We've probably found some errors in there. Now, it's not maybe the, the little syntax errors that you're going to find naturally when you're uh, just running your program to see if it runs, but you're probably more likely to find logic errors at this point. So, for example, you found a logic error... And you have to go back to fix it. And then we've got a short design question. Now, though it's quite a big box and it's three marks, there's actually not very much to this. It says a parking fine is £130. If the fine is paid within 14 days, the fine is halved. A design for the programme calculates the fine depending on when it's paid. And it's shown below. So we're setting the fine to £130 or one thirty. Get the number of days, then step three, calculate and store the fine. Using a design technique of your choice, refine step three. So what that means is that step one and step two are already done. We're not going to get any marks for writing fine equals one thirty, um input the number of days or anything like that. We're only looking at calculating and storing it. So for storing it, we're going to be putting it in a variable. So that's going to go in a variable. So if I said that if the number of days that's going to be less than or equal to 14, then set fine to fine divided by 2. That would be half in the fine if it's paid within 14 days. 